damn it. Come on. I don't remember the couch being this sound tall. Okay, girl. We can do this. Push yourself. Uh, damn it. Huh? Oh, um, darling, I... No, 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 no. I'm fine. I don't need your help, really. Sorry? On the floor? Oh, um, I'm just doing curl-ups. Always working the maps, right? No, I could totally get back onto the couch if I wanted. No, really, it's alright. No need to worry. As I said, I'm just working out. That's why I'm on the floor. No, I mean it. I don't need any help. Yes, I could get back onto the couch if I wanted to. I told you. I'm sorry? Uh, um, show you. Um, yeah, sure, why not? <clears throat> sorry? No, 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 it's fine. See, I, I don't want to get onto that couch. Because I didn't finish my set yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm not done working out. Gotta think about my abs, you know? Your cooking is just way too good, darling. We wouldn't want it to end up on my hips, right? Oh, that's super sweet of you to say, darling. But I really think I ought to do a few more curls. I'll get back on the couch later. Maybe you should just go back to the kitchen and let me finish my set and... Hey, no, I don't need any help. I told you. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay, thank you. What? N nothing happened, I mean... What should have happened? I was just... <sighs> okay... I forgot my cell phone charger. And it was still lying over there on the coffee table and I thought I could just get off the couch. Wriggle over there, grab it, and get back onto the couch on my own. What? No, darling. I didn't want to bother you. Now that my wheelchair is under repair, you constantly have to carry me one seat to another. I mean... You don't get anything done because I have to call you whenever I need to use the bathroom or whatever. So I thought... Yeah... I know that you don't mind. But I do. Because I'm not... Helpless. Oh, will you just stop being so damn nice and understanding? You know exactly what I mean. I'm a grown woman. Got a job. Got a freaking degree in marine biology. But I have to call you so you can have me from one chair to the other because the sun is shining in my eyes. Or I got to ask you to come to fetch my cell phone charger. Or my laptop. Or my bag of biscuits. Or freaking anything that I dropped or forgot somewhere more than an arm's length away. Like a dozen times a day. Yeah, again, I know that you don't mind, honey. That's not the point. I simply don't like feeling like a piece of luggage, that's all. As if the damn wheelchair wasn't enough of a bother already. Hey, no, 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 darling. No, please. I love you. And I love my life with you. And I love our cute little apartment. And I love this crazy, weird, exotic human city and everything. And I wouldn't want to change one bit about my life. I mean it. I really do. It just, well, I spend more time in the land than in the sea by now. Sometimes feels like I'm not even a real mermaid anymore. Oh, no, baby. 
please. I think I mean it like that. This year is a lot better than you living with us. Remember the last time we visited my parents and you're nearly drowned because you thought you didn't need the scuba tank to get from one air bubble in the guest room to the air bubble in the guest bathroom? Please, at least I don't suffocate when I fall off the couch and can't get back up. So, I really wouldn't have it any other way. It's just that, you know, we always have to seek wheelchair ramps and lowered curves. And we can't use a certain subway stations because you don't have an elevator. And this here, one damn screw off, the damn wheelchair breaks and I turn into an annoying piece of luggage for a week. Hey, no, stop that. Don't hook me. I don't need comfort. Or, um, well, please do hug me. But not because I needed comfort. This is just because I like your hugs, and that's all. Huh? No, baby. This is not your fault. Goodness. I was already practically a full-time land dweller when we met, remember? Your country doesn't recognize a degree from Atlantis State University, so I had to retake my exams to work in the human world. So I was a wheelchair mermaid for about a year already when we started dating. I chose his life. So this is my responsibility. And you don't have to turn your entire life upside down just because your girlfriend has this stupid, annoying tale. Man. Sometimes I wonder whether I should have made one of those deals with the sea witch to get myself a pair of legs. Okay, yeah. You love my tail. Blah, blah, blah. Come on. You know that's not... Hey. What are you doing? No, stop that. You know my fin is ticklish. <laughs> that's not fair. I can't get away from you. <laughs> it's okay, okay, I give up, I give up. I don't want legs. I want to keep my tail. <sighs> oh, but one day when you least expect it, in a situation where you can't get away from me, I will get you for this. I will tickle your feet without any mercy. You better believe it. You won't see me coming. I will strike like a snapping turtle. Huh? No, I really mean it. My life is fine with the wheelchair. I'd much rather spend some extra time here searching for an accessible bathroom together with you than hang out back in Atlantis without you. It's just that now, without the wheelchair, when I need you to carry me around like a bag of potatoes, I feel so helpless, and I hate that feeling. Yes, even when I'm a cute bag of potatoes, and that is not a compliment. It is like half a compliment, I guess. Oh, see, that was a proper compliment. Thank you. Sorry. Baby, I just told you that I'd much rather stay on land together with you than... What? You wanna come to the sea with me? Baby, that's really sweet of you. I mean it. But I don't really see that happening. I do a lot better on land than you do under the sea. Huh? Oh, um, yeah, well, I guess, technically speaking, you're right. I mean, you can swim. Sort of. Sorry? Well, don't get me wrong. I mean, your swimming is a lot better than my walking. What? <laughs> no, I'm not mean. Hey, don't look at me like that. You have to admit, 
human swimming is kind of um what do you call it when something is somehow really cute but also really really goofy at the same time now for real like i can't wait for the next olympic swimming contests it's strangely adorable watching humans attempting to swim you know my ogre friend Uruk? he says he likes watching human weightlifting for the same reason what yeah you know him come on Uruk. jeez why can't you ever remember my friend's names you met him at Tiffany's party last month. Really tall, green skin, horns, always carries a double-bladed battle axe. Yeah, that ogre. Yeah, I asked him that as well. I was like, Uruk, you work in accounting. What do you need a battle axe for? He said it was his emotional support battle axe. Yeah, he even won a lawsuit. And now he's allowed to bring it into airplanes. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah. You wanted to live under the sea with me? Darling, I hope I don't need to elaborate any further why that's... Sorry. Okay, but then... What did you mean? Oh, we can visit my parents on the weekend. Uh, um, you see, honey, I really appreciate the offer, and I would definitely take you to the sea for a weekend so I could stretch my fin for once. Um, but, well, do we really need to visit my parents? Huh. Oh, um, no, don't get me wrong. They're my parents, and I love them and everything, but, um... Do you know this thing where you really love a person, but you love them even more the further you are away from them? What? No, nothing's wrong with my dad. My dad's awesome. It's just that, you know, sometimes my mom and I, we... Oh, you think my mom is charming. Yeah, darling. That's because she doesn't remind you twice per hour. Of how many of your siblings have already given her grandkids. And she doesn't keep on telling you how to do something with your hair or how you've gotten oh so pale. You definitely like iron and should be more shellfish or... <laughs> no, that's not just a thing all moms do. I mean, yeah, but my mom is worse at it than the others. Huh? Oh, come on. My mom is definitely worse than your mom. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, come on. As if that was any reason to... But you looked so cute on those childhood photos. Anyway, my mom is worse than your mom, and that's why we shouldn't visit her on the weekend. Sorry? Yeah, I think she would. She always makes them when we... Oh, holy Poseidon. Please tell me you don't only want to visit my parents because you like my mom's spicy tuna rolls. I made them for you last month, remember? Sorry? No, they're not. Hey, I'm using my mom's recipe, so hers cannot be better than mine. No, they can't. It's the same recipe, so hers can't be. Why are we even talking about this? Even if our tuna rolls were better than mine, which they're not, by the way. That is not a sufficient reason to visit my parents. I am not suffering through a six-hour marathon of the most embarrassing stories from my childhood just because you don't like my home cooking. Oh, and then I'll have to listen to how... All my sisters have kids already, and how I'm not getting any younger. And did you know that Fabiana is dating a human now? Of course, the moment I got a human partner, boom, she immediately gets one too. The 
little sprat that always has to copy anything I do. Huh? Fabiana, the youngest of us, the redhead. She started dating a human last month. Do you know him? Ah, uh, yeah, sure, I know. Not all humans know each other. Sorry. What? No, no, I'd love to get to the sea with you. It would be freaking amazing if we could take a proper swim again and breathe some cool seawater. And if I didn't need you to carry me whenever I need to use a restroom, but, um, I mean, the sea's pretty big, you know? There's a lot of sea out there that doesn't have my parents in it. Like, there's the Arctic Sea and the Antarctic Ocean and... Oh, come on. You could just put on a coat. And I'll make you some hot tea and... Yeah, okay. It's probably a bit too far away for the weekend as well. Yeah, you're right. I really haven't seen them in a while. And I do want to see my little nephews and nieces again. I'm the cool aunt who lives in the human city. I tell them that we have stuff like escalators here because out of the sea you can't swim upward. And they look at me like I live in some kind of alien supernatural fantasy world. I might as well just tell them I live on Mars now. <laughs> it's so adorable. Last time I visited, we spent an entire afternoon explaining what an umbrella is and what you need it for. Like, the water's falling from the sky. Oh, also, there is a sky. And when the water comes falling down, not in one solid chunk, of course, but in droplets. Anyway, when the water comes falling down, humans, instead of being happy, they finally get a little wet. See, they need to protect themselves against it. But then, humans also build water parks, where they pay an entrance fee to get themselves wet. But when it rains, they don't visit those parks because they don't want to get wet. Frankly, at that point I couldn't explain it anymore myself. Oh, I can't wait to show them that video of us eating cotton candy. They never seen such a thing. Okay, yeah. Let's call my parents and tell them we'll come over for the weekend. They'll need to fill the guest bathroom with air for you. Just promise me you won't try to go to the bathroom again at night without taking the scuba tank. Huh? Yeah, of course I'll always be there to save you. That's not the point. Oh, you like how I reanimated you. Darling, if you want a little mouth-to-mouth -mouth from me, all you need to do is ask. Drowning is not a requirement. I mean, what if next time my Uncle Phil is the first one to find you floating in the hallway and give you CPR? <laughs> you know, with all those particles growing in his mustache. <laughs> oh, you'll use the scuba tank. Great. Huh? You want a little mouth-to-mouth -mouth now? Well, darling. I told you all you had to do was ask, didn't I? Come here. Why don't you just carry me to the bedroom? Huh, of course. I always have good ideas. <laughs>